Skoda Yeti presents the right of way expedition in association with National Geographic Channel. Flagged off from Mumbai, the expedition reached Kiel. Hi, I am Balan Mathavan. I took part in the Skoda Yeti right of way expedition because I love travel, I love nature, and I love history. Hi, this is uh, Dr. Captain Ritu Biyani and I'm from Pune. I joined because driving has been my passion. It's very meditative for me. Hi, I'm Ridula Devedi. I'm a keen traveler. I participated because the expedition sounded very promising. Geer shared its secrets with Balan, Ritu and Ridula as they had their right of way, leaving the city far behind. Their journey started where the roads end. The Skoda Yeti sailed through untamed terrain. Took us where the king of the jungle walks. In the Gear Forest, uh, over the last two days, we tested the Yeti on rough terrain over rubbles, rocks and the dirt path. I thoroughly enjoyed the ride and the best part was that it comfortably went on any terrain. Memories of this adventure will remain in the hearts of our participants forever. Ah! The Skoda Yeti reached the second leg of the adventure trail by entering the picturesque Siana. Making their way through some testing terrain in the Skoda Yeti are Raymond, Satya and Rajendra. Hi, my name is Raymond Shaw and I'm from Bangalore. I run rivers, I dive oceans and I climb mountains and to get to drive the Skoda Yeti here. Hi, I'm Satya from Chennai. Uh, I'm a banker by profession but an outdoorsman by passion. The Yeti looks so luxurious. However, if you start driving it over the rough terrain, it takes it so smoothly, you know, so comfortably and you feel the power when you catch hold of the, you know, the steering. It's a nice mix of both. Hi, I'm Rajendra Singh Jadija from Ahmedabad. I spent about more than 200 plus days in a year outside in the wilderness areas. Something which is very powerful like a Skoda Yeti vehicle. It's a dream drive over here and Skoda is that type of particular vehicle which uh, glides through, I would say. Uh, through the sandy riverbed. They are joined by Luke Kenny. In driving over here, you'll go through grasslands, you know, dry fields, and all this is really, really possible when you have a vehicle that's built for it. In this case, the Skoda Yeti. The Yeti comes out strong, taking on every challenge at Siena. At one with nature, yet claiming its right of way. I'm Pradeep Singh from Siena. I run Siena camps and safari. I've just come back after off-roading in the dry riverbed. Skoda Yeti is a real powerhouse. As the expedition trail crossed the Aravalis, the participants were captivated by the tradition and culture of the local community. After experiencing wild gear and untamed Siena, the expedition reached its third destination, the romantic city of Jaisalmer. Making their way are... Hi, I'm Alan Mathaj. My passion involves anything that revolves around the outdoors, be it travel, be it uh, going ahead and enjoying a long drive with a friend. The drives that we have had, the car has gone ahead and uh, really exceeded the expectations that we had of the car. Hi, and my name is Selesh Bijlani. I'm a media professional. Skoda Yeti is a, is a fairly uh, intelligent vehicle and kind of makes you feel pretty comfortable even in a hostile environment like this. I call this SUV the SUV with the brain. I don't need to keep switching on and switching off the buttons whenever I need to access the four-wheel drive. As the contestants prepare for this exciting journey, the Yeti gears up for a daunting task. The terrain might be difficult, but the expedition thrives on days like these. The lure of the ship of the desert makes for an interesting change of transport. After a hard day, a comfortable ride in the Yeti is well deserved. A touch of culture was the finishing touch to this eventful journey through the city of warriors.
Now on its fourth leg, the right-of-way expedition reached the heart of Kipling country. And marking their territory are... It's a really strong car, really practical, really sturdy, really cool on the hilly terrain. It is a very comfortable car that comes with the freedom, the flexibility to change the seat configuration. For me, passion means travel, photography and adventure. The off-roading and other features are excellent in this car. As the contestants enjoy the Yeti and the forest, these words by Kipling ring true. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. And as the day ends, a local flavor colored the chilly evening which ended in tall stories of tigers and tranquility and of course, Kipling. Now into its finale, the right-of-way expedition enters the Pride of India's National Park program. As the winners leave the Yeti for a different thrill, Nayan, the wildlife expert and chief photographer of the expedition, shows them a stunning sight. We are at Corbett Tiger Reserve. It was named after Jim Corbett. He has been an inspiration to me. Having driven the Skoda Yeti, I can say it's got the best in class fuel economy. Hi, my name is Saman and I'm proud to be part of the Skoda Yeti right-of-way expedition. It's a superb car. Yesterday when we were going for the afternoon safari, we got stuck because there was a little landslide and there were these little boulders and a lot of mud on the road. And uh, the local guides were very apprehensive that the, the Yeti will not be able to cross that. But it did and our guide actually said, uh, Skoda ne test pass kar diya. It is real good cornering lies during foggy conditions, which we experienced yesterday night in the night safari. The Skoda Yeti is sinuous, fast and graceful, just like the striped predator of this famed forest. National Geographic and Skoda Yeti all came together on a platter. The entire crew enjoy the cultural event by the local community. What do you buy Skoda Yeti? Obsessed with quality since 1895.